What can we do to keep our elections safe while Republicans are continuing their attacks on the ballot box? Well, thanks so much for having me. And I'll tell you one thing we have to, absolutely have to do is have action in the Senate. We need to expand the majority to make sure that there are people, representatives there, who are committed to expanding our democracy, to protecting the sacred right to vote. Unfortunately, it feels that it's not always top of mind for people. And in a state like Wisconsin, as the things you just mentioned, uh, we see just how fragile democracy can be because there are so many people who are just very intent on destroying and dismantling our sacred institutions, the things that people have fought so hard for, the things that people have died for. I mean, I don't have to repeat that to you all. Uh, we know how serious this is, but we also see how serious it is when these lies are continued uh, to be told, especially by people like Ron Johnson. That's how you end up with a January 6th uh, event. And unfortunately, the reality is it could be possible again in 2024. Uh, nobody wants to live in that type of world. Mm -hmm. Nobody should have to experience it for the chaos. Right. You know what? Let's listen to uh, what Congressman Ruben Gallego told Lawrence uh, just two nights ago. There's a lot of people that are not not taking this serious. The fact that there is a slow moving coup that is happening right now all over this country. So instead of people being dressed up in, you know, uh, you know, uniform uh, or wannabe uniforms storming the Capitol, now they're actually trying to win state House seats, state Senate seats, Secretary of State seats, kind of recorder seats. So they could actually overturn the future election. Right. So the, the coup is ongoing. The traitors are still there, and they're going to continue to try to destroy our Constitution. So, Lieutenant Governor, you know, to, to his point, why are so many people not taking this more seriously? Well, I guess to uh, the, the congressman's point, it is slow moving. So it's not the thing you see happening every day. It's not on TV like the January 6th events. This is happening in state legislative races, and it's also happening in school board races and other local elections as well. And so when things just aren't as present as they were, uh, then it can be out of sight and out of mind. And that's why it's important for us to make sure that we do the organizing work to get people involved and engaged to understand uh, what's actually happening. Now, I, I know that there's the whole the whole debate whether you know you can out organize voter suppression, and we shouldn't have to. But at the same time, while these voter suppression tactics, uh, these election subversion tactics are happening, we still have to make sure that our people are well informed. And when I say our people, I mean those folks who are committed to an America with a free, fair, uh, and safe system of elections mm -hmm. and democracy. And mm -hmm. the Republican Party, people like Ron Johnson, have done everything they possibly can do to sow seeds of doubt at every level of government. They want to take over federal elections in Wisconsin. They want the gerrymandered legislature in Wisconsin to handle our elections because they're not comfortable with the fact that they lost elections. You know, they have completely uh, fell out of step with the American people. They have been unresponsive to the needs of the American people when it comes to a health care system that delivers for everyone, when it comes to an economy that delivers for everyone, when it comes to addressing the climate crisis. They have left the American people behind. And the only way uh, they feel that they can win elections, because it's the truth, is if they cheat and they try to steal another race. And so then in the 20, the 20 seconds that we have left, uh, Lieutenant Governor, um, What's you ran for lieutenant governor in 2018. What's changed since then in terms of fears about how Republicans are restricting the, the, the access to vote? Well, there are lots of fears because we see how uh, we, we see across this entire country how many voter suppression bills were introduced in state legislatures. And we also saw everything again come to a head on mm -hmm. January 6th. Chaos unimaginable. And that happened right in front of our very eyes. So there is very real fear about uh, not just voter suppression, but also voter intimidation tactics. And that's mm -hmm. why I, the first thing I did was release a package of bills aimed at protecting our democracy, aimed at strengthening our democracy, making sure that the right to vote will be uh, realized by all right. eligible voters in this country.